This morning, word came from the White House that a deal was made to free Brittany Griner in exchange for a Russian arms dealer who's been in U.S. custody for quite some time. Griner had been wrongfully detained in Russia for 10 months for having less than a gram of hashish oil in her luggage. The sham courts in Russia took her plea of guilt and sent her to a penal colony where the Russians planned to hold her for nine years. That sentence meant she wouldn't see her family, she wouldn't be in her home country, and she likely would never return to the WNBA where she was a star. Well, today the news that she is free brought overwhelming relief to her family and friends, and one of those friends is Minnesota Lynx general manager and head coach Cheryl Reeve. Cheryl Reeve knows Brittany Griner, the player, and Brittany Griner, the person. And for the last 294 days, Cheryl's been waiting for this one. What an unbelievable surprise this morning. Um, I was, it was one of those moments that you'll remember where you were. Reeve was driving her son to school when her wife called yelling, Brittany's coming home, Brittany's coming home. And, and so it was like, what? That call likely happened thousands of times this morning for many who know and love Brittany Griner especially in her world of the WNBA. These players are close. They're the word, not, not just competitors on different teams and you're not really in tune to one another. Many of them know each other through years of competition, years of playing overseas. So it really is a sisterhood. Those players talked over and over again about BG on social, at press conferences, anytime they had the chance. But Cheryl says it wasn't just the public statements. It was in silence as well that they all lived with every one of the last 294 days. I think that they didn't talk uh, nearly as much about the pain and the heaviness that they felt in playing uh, in the WNBA this past season. It was an incredible um, weight uh, on each of them and, and, and they thought of her every single day. We all did, you know, it's just a, a massive void. A void of the actual person, Brittany Griner, who Reeve describes this way. She's so warm and giving and uh, will do anything for anyone. Uh, that's who she is. And I am so hopeful that her soul has not been touched to the negative uh, because it, she's an absolutely amazing uh, person. A person who now faces a new future, but one Reeve says she won't face alone. The women of the W have her back for whatever happens next. I don't know what new normal is uh, for, for Brittany. Um, I, I just, I'm thrilled that she's regained her freedom and that she will be back in, in the U.S., her home, and uh, be with loved ones and take whatever time that she needs, you know, to uh, be whole again as a person. It's the most important thing. thing. Brittany Griner should land in Texas in the next several hours. And yes, many of you probably are asking, well, what about former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan? He's been wrongfully detained by Russia for much longer than Brittany Griner. Well, the White House said Russia wouldn't make a deal for him. Paul Whelan's family said, yes, they're disappointed to say the least, but they do not at all begrudge Brittany Griner for her freedom. And Brittany Griner's wife said publicly she would keep fighting for Paul Whelan's release.